आई भी जाओ तो हम जिंदा को रगड़े कहो तो अपने ही मांस खा के दिखाया कब कहना घोड़ी ऐसे हम वाई वाई की घोड़ी ही मार दो तू और क्या ना बोला तो कर कर तेरी काट के खाऊंगा It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you guys are, whatever you guys are, ladies and gentlemen around the world, welcome to Duality 9X. Hey, we got a great lineup of videos that I can't wait to share with you guys. If you guys are new to the space, please smash the like and subscribe, comment, please tell us where you guys are from. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you guys are returning Duality 9Xers, Well, welcome back. It's always great to see a familiar face. So, you guys know the drill. I hope you guys are ready because you know I'm ready. Strap in, put your seatbelt on. Permanente sentados, por favor. Please remain seated at all times. You know this is going to be a bumpy ride. So, without further ado, let's get it. Photos with disturbing backstories. What you see right here is the aftermath of Flight 571. Daydreamer, what the hell is Flight 571? Let me explain it. Simply put, Flight 571 was supposed to be a safe trip that would take a rugby team from Uruguay to Chile. But the trip ended up taking a much more deadlier turn that would make you wish you were dead. For starters, the pilot that was supposed to take them there safely ended up being highly inexperienced. The pilot, not knowing what he was doing, ended up getting too close to a mountain, hitting it with the wing, and crash landing the plane. It's estimated that about 45 people were on the plane, and 12 of them died from the crash alone, leaving 33 survivors. But with very limited supplies and very tough weather conditions, 14 more people ended up dying. So what happened with the other 19? I'll tell you on part 2 because I'm out of time. Daisy, Daisy. Give me your answer too. I'm half crazy. <laughs> All for the love of you. Photos with disturbing backstories. Things that bother you, they never bother me. I'm happy and fine. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful haven't got a lot, I don't need a lot, coffee's only a dime. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Oh, wow. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy. All for the with disturbing backstories.
lang ang nakuhanan ng mga lalaki habang nasa loob ng sasakyan. Ang nilalang na ito ay may mahabang tainga. Maputi ang kanyang balat, mahaba ang buhok at itim ang mga mata. Ito ay nakapaalamang, subalit nakadamit at parang naliligaw. Tila galing siya sa kabilang mundo. Bagamat ko... Camera. In this video uploaded to YouTube on the 21st of April 2022, a man is exploring an underground tunnel when he sees this. And then as he's walking back out of the tunnel, he hears this. What do you think that was? Follow for more videos. Run. Terrifying things caught on camera. Run, Forrest, run. Really yeah, I don't see a camera in there. Do you want to look at it? I'm going to go up there and film it from that height. Go ahead. Oh. What's up there? <laughs> yeah, it looks like someone just like. It's a cross face. It's not appropriate. So like, like, if you would clean the shower a few times, you would know that. Come on, man. I mean, most people don't look up when they clean stuff. I'm being honest with you. Uh, okay. That's why we film shit. Tell me that again. Right. Your answer was... Oh, it's, it's on there. It's on there. So, thank you. Did you see a camera? No. Uh, I'll show you something else in the program so you can see this. Oh, my God. Because you can't, you can't walk out of this. We're not we're not worried about people looking through here. No, I mean that is a whole whole lot of weirdness. I mean, how would this hole get made from the inside when it's poking downward? I mean, that's a. Yeah, I don't see a camera in there. Do you want to look at it? You guys, um, you guys hear about those stories with Airbnbs and people have got like cameras set up, like. And you know, you could get some really small looking cameras that are not noticeable and very, very they can be quite discreet. So people got gla like cameras on their glasses, on their hats, and yeah, that's really freaky stuff. Still holding on to her child, like I'd be like, I'd get, <laughs> like, look. Oh my gosh, her hair. living with a paranormal entity for sure. Look at that. 
the TV just turned on. Oh man. Like this has happened to her, it seems like on multiple occasions. Why would she still stick around, right? where someone is out hunting mushrooms in the forest. Now, as he is looking for these mushrooms in the forest, he's going to be looking down at a mushroom when all of a sudden he hears something crazy in the background. What do you guys think? What the heck is that? Let me know in the comments, follow for more. People are losing their minds over this video where someone is out hunting mushrooms in the forest. Now, as he is looking ah, for these mushrooms freaky. in the forest, he's going to be looking down at a mushroom when all of a sudden he hears something crazy in the background. What do you guys think? What the heck is that? Let me know in the comments, follow for more. People are yeah, losing man, their it's, minds it's over this video it's where someone is out hunting mushrooms not, not in the forest. Place now, you as be. Is... It doesn't, there's something, something around that dog and the dog is, is not happy. It broke free. Excuse me. Nada. Oh, you doing dishes? Skinwalkers, so. guys. No way. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Do you guys have pets? Do your pets do that as well? My brother and sister-in-law, they have a cat, and I think it stood up on its hind legs before, but not for, oh, what just happened there? Oh, something keeps pulling the dog. All right, this, this cat's not This was scary, guys. Wow. Scary real footage is found. What is that? Like, there's a fire going on all around. aircraft missiles or something is it though I, I don't see any like smoke or is that something else like TikTok Fisherman's Source 90 captures the moment that he could hear strange sounds coming from the ocean. Keep in mind that this was recorded miles away from shore. Listen carefully. Source 90, and we just out here. We're chilling. We're out here chilling. I hear him. 
What the fuck is that noise, bro? What is that noise? Where are you? That's crazy. Let me know what you think that was and I don't know. If you guys know, put it in the comments. Skinwalker caught on camera. That's a funky skinwalker. Oh. Skinwalker caught on camera. just this past week. A couple of Kevin Walker's friends were helping him move when an unexplained phenomenon occurred. Watch closely what happens next. Of course, Kevin figured the falling object was no big deal and probably just a coincidence. Until... This next part is where things get scary. Kevin and his buddy investigate the falling glass while his other friend had stepped outside to load the moving truck. There were only three of them inside the house, and then it happened. A ghost, a real ghost, caught on camera. Paranormal activity caught on camera. Comes down the Getting some air, man. Wow. Wow. Yes. Like, talk about. That's some great athleticism. Oh. Now you had to get out. That's amazing, guys. Deserves a, that deserves a clap. Oh, 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 oh,
And then you have to mix it really. Oh, yeah. What you get? What the fuck? Crash one egg. When a female tick bites you, it cuts into your skin and anchors itself with a barbed piece of its mouth. Then it injects a numbing chemical through its saliva, allowing it to stay undetected. This saliva also prevents your blood from clotting, which keeps a steady flow into the tick's mouth. Over several days, the tick consumes so much blood that it grows to several times its original size. And once it's fully engorged, it detaches, falls off, and eventually starts laying eggs. When a female tick bites... Chat, I love this moment so much, y'all. Oh my God, no! Okay, I'm sorry. No, look, I got you right here. Yes, sir! No! The fuck? No! Good acting. After determining the area where the hornet has landed, the hunters put on their protective suits and start digging up the nest. All the hornets are then locked up in containers in a failed attempt to fight back. The hornets try to intimidate the men with their stingers. The next step is to destroy the future of the colony by crushing the eggs and larvae. But what will bury the colony forever is the death of the queen. The Asian Wasps. hornet is a harmful species that ravages farms. So this is the fate reserved for those who stand in the way wow, of the most dangerous the and advanced species. Yes. on this planet. This man tied a plastic oh. bag. Have you ever wondered why sometimes dolphins swim in front of ships? Notice how they hardly move their tails at all. Yeah. Some people say they do this to a company and guide the ships, that. but that's just not true. You see, ships have this part called the bulbous bow, designed to offset the waves, reducing its drag and fuel consumption. This bow creates an underwater wave known as a wake. And guess what? Dolphins have figured out this trick. They effortlessly ride this forward push of the wake, reaching high speeds purely for the thrill and enjoyment. Have you ever wondered why... Have you ever noticed the giant clock at Amsterdam Airport that seems to have a man trapped inside it? If you thought you had a tedious job, imagine erasing and redrawing the clock hands every minute. Well, that's what this guy does 1,440 times a day, without a break, never missing a single minute. Interestingly, although it looks like a man is really in there serving time, that's not the case. However, the reality behind it is just as impressive. To make this clock, they filmed a man drawing the time for 12 hours straight to create the looping video we all see. Have you ever noticed the giant clock at Amsterdam Airport that seems to have a man trapped inside it? If you thought you had a... Hello! <laughs> <laughs>
actually got messaged by someone. They said, can you please explain what's happening at my house? Cause it's freaking me out. And they sent video from their ring doorbell. You see the whole neighborhood. There's a green laser goes, what? They did it for like a week straight. This plane, it would fly over Cape Coral at night scanning it with a green laser the whole cape Maybe coral they're updating google earth i don't know but we talked about lockheed martin has the capability they've been scanning the earth for who knows how long so they're mapping out the entire earth every neighborhood every house everything green laser and lidar uh penetrates water oh cool so they can get a full scan of wells so any surface. pipes but it's one of those things tell us what you're doing yeah tell me what you're doing so we don't yeah. have to speculate well they, that happened in hawaii someone got it on video of them scanning it was a chinese satellite that scanned a green laser they said oh we're doing it to track stuff. climate change and all that stuff it's like what what the heck what the heck are you talking all about these female yaucha often referred to as she predator or predator huntress is like their male counterparts a part of the yaucha species an extraterrestrial species. race known for their advanced technology hunting prowess and code of honor female yaucha closely resemble males with reptilian features like mandibles and dreadlocks their skin varies, but often has a pale, mottled appearance. They tend to have a leaner, more agile physique and wear yaucha armor with distinctive variations, housing advanced weaponry at. such exactly. as wrist blades, plasma casters, it's and like cloaking video devices. Game Female yaucha are skilled hunters who follow the yaucha like code of honor, seeking monster. formidable prey to prove their worth. They excel in combat, displaying physical strength, agility, and resilience, while I mean, utilizing you advanced know, hunting technology in like cloaking uh, devices and plasma uh, weaponry like on par with their male counterparts. Here. That's, that's something else, guys. You know, some of those sculptures are so lifelike, you almost think that they were like human and turned to stone or something. Um, the details, like right to the veins and the, the feet and the arms are just absolutely incredible. And to think that all of this was done with like medieval, like technology, like, I mean, what did they have? They had like arrowheads and chisels like that were not at the same standard or the same kind of level uh, that, you know, quality grade that we have today. You know, like we have like discs that, you know, like diamond cut blades and things that can do like precision cuts. And even now, if you were to use that on, on that kind of stone, we probably still wouldn't be able to get as such fine results as the way these people did it many thousands of years ago. So just how did they do it? Did you guys see what just happened? Look, check this guy. 
He's watching the game, but his Twitter account already showed that the team, one of the teams here, scored a goal. And then look what happens moments after the team scored a goal. That's just, that's the mind-blowing stuff I'm talking about. Out there is a plastic surgeon who is incredibly happy with himself. Cause not only did he botch this woman's face, but he also convinced her that he did a good job. Anastasia Pokreshchuk is an influencer who is known for having the world's biggest cheeks. She's also really into fitness, but I'm willing to bet the first thing you noticed was her quagmire jawline. Before I shit on her, let me mention that Anastasia is apparently very happy with her situation. She said that her cheeks have made her more confident, so good for you, bud. But that surgeon literally turned your face into to a bicycle seat and you paid him to do it. Lady, you used to be a solid eight, maybe even a nine. Now before. your face looks like a backroom esthetician's first drafts. Surprisingly, she is still single. I thought for sure there'd be some dude somewhere who'd be into this. But on the plus side, she'll never ever have to worry about drowning. Her cheeks will float above the water and keep her alive. I'm also curious, if we squeeze one of her cheeks, would we hear an air horn or a whistle or maybe a fart? Couldn't, couldn't find a home. He was given to Michael Diamond, who owns a bunch of weird stuff in his home. He was kept in. Mr. Fritz is a ventriloquist doll that was caught moving one night. So this doll's from the 1940s. He was always haunted and couldn't find a home. He was given to Michael Diamond, who owns a bunch of weird stuff in his home. He was kept in this case, but for a couple weeks, Michael noticed the door kept opening in the middle of the night. Michael decides to set up a GoPro, and this is what he sees. Wait, there's more. He was also caught moving his eyes and mouth. Watch his mouth. But the real question is, do you guys think it's real or fake? Mr. Fritz is a ventriloquist doll that was caught moving one night. Wow. However, reality, you won't believe what happened to the Russian synthol kid. Meet Kirill Tereshin, a 20-year-old who hit the gym religiously, chomped down on meals six times a day, but couldn't see the results he wanted. So, he took a rather unconventional route by injecting his muscles with vegetable oil and synthol. His arms ballooned to a whopping 24 inches, earning him heaps of attention and adoration from the ladies. But then came a twist that'll leave you stunned. Kirill decided to take on a professional fighter with his oil-enhanced arms. Initially, it seemed like he was landing a few punches. Seems However, like reality hit really hard and the fighter swiftly took control, pinning Kirill down and dominating and man, the match. As he lay there, Kirill felt excruciating oh, pain surging through his arms, good, leading to the fight being halted. Look, in a truly again. shocking turn of events, Kirill's biceps began to leak oil in a jelly-like mixture, prompting him to undergo surgery. Needless to say, he deeply regretted his impulsive decision. Look guys, again, you guys are free to do what you guys want to do. I would hope you get some consultation before going to such extreme lengths like, like this individual. In one of my earlier videos, I, I, I showcased a couple of these guys, a few of these guys who, who did these things to themselves to make themselves look incredibly muscular, but it, it, backfit, it, like it, it backfired on them. You know, I'm sorry, but if you can't put in the hard effort and go out to a gym and do it naturally, then don't bother. If you're gonna inject yourself with silicone and oil, alcohol, Vaseline, for what? That stuff is not meant to be in your body. Your body is going to like throw up. Your body's gonna, you know, like find ways to discard that stuff out of its system because it's not something that the body recognizes. And once it gets into your blood, it could be game over. And for some of these guys, unfortunately, it was, that was the case. Really sad. Chick-fil-A girl is oh. back and we know exactly what happened. So this girl was fired from working yeah, at Chick-fil-A a few days ago. Days. This all happened because she was being funny while serving a customer. However, the customer that took these videos was her cousin. This also wasn't the first time she did something funny while working and when it went viral on TikTok, people started noticing her at her Chick-fil-A. But when the manager found out about this, he got mad and confronted her saying she's using Chick-fil-A for profit by going viral on the internet. And he ended up like attacking me saying I'm trying to like profit off Chick-fil-A. 
and this has upset a lot of people and they're not happy with Chick-fil-A. I thought I was fired, but they just took me off the schedule for now. And after Gina spoke out, some are saying she was fired and the manager then decided not to, while others are saying the store manager didn't fire her directly, however by putting her off the schedule they're forcing her to quit without having to pay unemployment. Either way, everyone is telling the Chick-fil-A girl to go and sue because of constructive termination. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Ouija board that someone gave me for free because they didn't want it in their life anymore. Yes, I made it home safely. It did rain a lot on the way home, which is why you didn't get an update. Every single time I parked my car, I put on the e-brake and was very careful to walk behind the car so I didn't get run over while the haunted Ouija board was in the passenger seat. If the whole story didn't convince you, the seller did reach out today and ask if I made it home safely. This is the planchette, August 10th, 1920, over 100 years ago. The story is that it came from a house where the woman was left to decompose. Now, this is compelling to me because I could see how that would happen. If someone were left behind and their body was not paid attention to, they might attach to the first thing that someone else thought was interesting. Like, oh, they might not see value in me or my body and they forgot about me, but they're paying attention to this Ouija board. For those that are sensitive, I'll give you a little bit of a warning. I am going to take the box off. This is the old artwork and here it is. And you can see where there's kind of some sort of water damage. Like I said, that makes me a little bit nervous with the decomposition story. It's entirely too soon to be certain if anything is actually going on or if it's just the personal relationship between the original owner. He had it for 20 years and he decided, I'm done, I do not want this thing anymore, but it may never interact with me and that's okay. Well, Widow, what do you think? Is A hundred year old Ouija board, would you play with it? <laughs> Say do you love me? These two guys lost their little sister, and four months later, he found her in terrible conditions. Oh. What happened to this? I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the guy with holding the flame torch, he's like, hold on, let's just see what's going on here. And this other guy in the blue is like, I'm, I'm out. Oh. Now this one can be considered haunted, cursed, or maybe both. The famous gypsy doll dubbed Let Me Out. The doll was first discovered in the late... Shadow Doll, the scariest item at the Warren Occult Museum? The Warren Occult Museum houses a ton of the dark and sinister items that Ed and Lorraine Warren came in contact with during their careers as paranormal experts. The Shadow Doll is one of those items. This horrible doll was used in satanic rituals and was created with black magic using human and animal bones. It's believed that this doll has caused the deaths and disappearances of several individuals over the decades. It's also thought that if you take a photo of this doll, then whoever it was that snapped the image will be haunted by this cursed object in their dreams and ultimately they will go insane. This is the scariest item at the Warren Occult Museum and you could even argue that it's one of the scariest items in the whole world. Scary stuff. Apothecary cupboard, I bought at a yard sale. Yard sale. I can't speak today guys. Wow, so they found this at a yard sale and it looks like somebody's hair. Yikes.
number of people have fell ill after watching it. Proceed with caution. That one here smells great. Which one? Mmm. Smells like mother's crazy sister Kate. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I do. It smells so good. She couldn't have been that crazy. I don't think so. Oh, you don't think so, huh? No. Well, she put her poodle one time in a microwave oven to eat it. Yeah, to eat it. Oh, no. No, 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 silly. To dry it. No, no, no. But it exploded. And they were both found dead. She must have been out of her head. I don't know what we just watched, our guys. A guy was filming a TikTok all by himself at home, but when he watched his video before posting, he discovered something that wasn't supposed to be there. This is a must watch, so keep your eyes glued to the screen until the end. You won't believe what happens next. As he's recording his TikTok, he's completely alone, or so he thinks. But here's the twist, folks. During the playback, something chilling appears in the background, something that defies explanation. This isn't your typical ghost story, it's real, and it's spine-tingling. If you're loving this mystery, tap that follow button now, and don't forget to drop a comment right here, right now. What he saw in the video has left him sleepless for nights, questioning his very reality. It's not something you can easily forget, and he's not alone. As the video plays on, you'll see it too. And trust me, it's not what you'd expect. We're talking goosebumps on your arms scary. This man will never film TikToks again. All right, my daughter's room is up there, and we keep seeing some. All right, put your flashlight up. Oh, All right, right there. Up there. You see oh. the blinds? It's almost no, like somebody was peeking out of the blinds. Put your flashlight down. 
see if it'll do it again. Oh, All right, right put there. It up. All right. Oh. It appears that each time the light isn't on the window, the blinds move on their own. But if you look closely, you'll see that no fingers can be seen opening the blinds, let alone a fig. Aggressives literally cannot. The clip you're about to watch is from an interview that took place in 1959. The woman in it is Ian Rent, the author of Atlas Shrug, a book that progressives literally cannot stop. something strange was found in a coal mine in the Ukrainian city of Donetsk. 3,000 feet below the surface, miners found what looked to be the fossils of two wagon wheels embedded in the roof of a sandstone tunnel. This tunnel dated from 360 to 300 million years ago. That would place them during the Carboniferous period, and for reference, that's when these things were walking around, so a very long time ago. A team of engineers asked the mine director to invite scientists to come and study the finding. But after speaking with the owner of the mine, they were prohibited to talk about the objects, and work was fast-tracked through the section. In spite of the director's orders, some of the workers decided to take photos. Wow, that is pretty eerie. Please trust your gut feeling. A woman was taking care of her horses when suddenly they all started no. acting strange and running away. She was confused until she began hearing okay. a deep wailing sound. She decides to follow the sound, and as she approaches the source, she gets a gut feeling that something ominous was luring her into the silo. Always trust your gut feeling. A woman was taking care of her horses. Wow. Didn't anyone tell me? They're recording a TikTok when she accidentally captures something horrifying. Okay, first of all, why didn't anyone tell me no. that if you have sh Yeah? I'm home alone, and I thought... I thought someone called me, and I'm... It was my cat, and she sounds like a human. That 
was you, right? Melody Rose is beginning her video when she heard a voice coming from the other room. Commenters quickly agree not only is there a voice calling her name, but if you listen closely, you can hear much more. Maybe it was my cat, and she sounds like a human. Sometimes. Melody asserts in a different video she's even woken up with strange marks on her body. What do you believe? She's recording a TikTok. CNN reporter talks to Cannibal and regrets it instantly. I remember watching this, I think. This is, these guys are the Agori people. CNN reporter talks to Cannibal and regrets it instantly. I remember watching this a long time ago on CNN. Um, I can't remember, Raza, I think his name is. And this is the Agori tribe in India. Why are people on that side of the river the so afraid of the Agori? Oh. I see. Um, why, why do you... It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. This may have been a mistake. Just like somebody distracts him and I just leave. Let's but see where it goes. We can be polite. See where it goes. All right, guys. Thanks. That's all the time that we have. Uh, I hope you guys had a great, great time. Um, we've got more and more videos. Uh, definitely can't wait to share it with you guys. In the meantime, please smash the like and subscribe. If you want to support us, the best way to support us, we'd be forever grateful if you do just that. Like, subscribe, comment, and if you in the comments, if you tell us where you're from, we'll give you a shout out. Rosie, for instance, from sunny California. So please do the same, and I'll definitely give you guys a shout out. In the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another exciting edition from Duality 9X. I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Stay safe.